Corey. Good afternoon, guys. <laughs> Good evening, hens. How are we all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? Today, I bring to you a video idea that... I was, I have, like, a Discord channel where I just post all my video ideas, and then I saw this one. I was like, oh, that will be a slay. And today, I'm going to be building the same house, but with a different budget each time. And we're going to put it all together, and we're going to see the differences in each house. That's what we're going to be doing. I've also just squeezed a spot right there, right? And it's red, and I was waiting for it to go. I'm here, and I'm recording. Like, I just wanted to... Bum, 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 bum. So, we've got a friend today. I wish I had more to say. I don't. Let's go, girls. So I have the shell already built because I thought it would be smart. Let's not waste time. And now I'm thinking I did just build it on this one lot, but I might actually change it and switch it up and move it to a 50 by 50. So we can kind of have it look like it's on a neighborhood and really see the differences rather than having to go into a loading screen. Guys, I'm just sick of loading screens at the minute, all right? Like, I'm tired of loading screens, okay? Oh, that view is... I do declare. Oh, guys, like this is not the first time my eyes have seen Dolcel Valley. But then I'm always like, yeah, but it's stunning. But can you use it? No. Can you walk down those hills? No. Right, we're gonna try my best. Maybe I should do this off camera. Like maybe this isn't actually necessary for the video. I'm just gonna make a one room, copy it three times. Bob's your uncle, Nancy Tari, and I'll meet you when I do that. <laughs> Fuck! It's done. It's finished. Here is our little neighborhood. It actually looks really fucking cute. Like, seriously, guys. I even done a little road for it and everything. It's giving desperate housewives. It's giving pretty little liars. I did have these pavements going into the house, but depending on the house, I think I might change them. So the first one is a 20,000 budget, which is a start home budget. Money, 20,000. So that is what we've got for this house right here. I also, I had it in evening because I thought the light was so beautiful, but I'm going to have to build an afternoon just to keep it normal. I also do not know what theme i'm going for or anything i might just keep it simple a typical suburban color maybe thankfully the roof trims and everything they're all free maybe instead of focusing on the outside i do feel like i should focus on amenities a fridge and a toilet and beds and everything i do feel like that that would be smart for me to focus on let me just get the cheapest stuff outside all right that's all in that's fine and then maybe the cheapest columns are they the cheapest 25 i might just use them and usually i would put them all around the outside of the house as well but i'm gonna see if we can get a with that and then if we have money left over then i think i'm going to go in and put more columns around but i kind of want to save money for the rest of it now for downstairs these are the cheapest stairs that we have these are only like eight small ones more so i might just put them in there my plan was bathroom living room dining room kitchen that was my plan but i also need to make allowances for a back door and in fact that's a little bit too big for what i'm actually after 85 small i don't know if it's going to fit in with the vibe of the house but i can give it a go i also feel like this doesn't actually look good that off to the side oh but fuck it it's what i done so i'm just gonna put it there i'm noticing errors in my floor not errors in my floor plan but i'm like if i would have brought that bathroom back moved those stairs back that means that we could have had a lot more room in the dining room area and then i could have had a nice double archway but i didn't do that that's just something that i will have to carry you know that's something that's on my back but we do have a there we go that single archway i guess that can do for the living room i would have liked it to have been big girl but what about actually if i removed the walls and then we just had a staircase i don't mind that okay i'm gonna remove the wall and all of them then keep it fair i don't want to just get the the cheapest of everything but i think if i start off getting the cheapest of everything and then i can kind of work my way through i mean i don't even have fucking doors in this establishment yet we need a toilet sink that's a decent sized bathroom the basis is all in now that we've done that i feel like i can actually put windows in now i'm a bit less stressed okay slay oh we also need a back garden as well i will be using a simple fence it's a simple kitchen do i have an i think i have enough yeah i definitely have enough room to put a dining table there i'm gonna do like a little corner unit type of thing i know that that is the thing you into there but build a bridge babe get over it and then we'll have a sink here i feel like now that we have a sink there we should probably have a window there maybe an upper cabinetry is another thing because i'm gonna put it in but if we need to save money this is gonna be the first thing to go believe me and then on this one i might just do that on either side maybe we even just do some shelves like that that's a slay and it is giving sad beige home for sad beige children but do not worry about it oh we are running out of money this money is going uh very fast right just get the living room in that actually looks quite cozy and what would be more expensive a coffee table or a fireplace oh a fireplace for sure it really is looking very sad and beige i do i need to just make it a little bit happier you know what fuck it that will do i've got nine grand left i think if we just put oh i love this put two pictures in hopefully it brings it all in a little bit more that looks cute okay we've got seven thousand for the rest of the house which honestly i feel like it, this can be done okay we'll do that downstairs laminate all the way through i don't know i always get stuck on the tiles in kitchens i actually think that works fine and then for splashback perfect that 
is literally exactly what, what I'm looking for. It's a sad beige house. I'm trying to make it look as least sad and beige as I can. I am trying, guys. There's carpet for the kids' room and the main bedroom. The kids' bedroom. Oh, still water's run deep. It's only two simoleons. Don't mind if I fucking do. And maybe paneling. I still want it quite light and bright because the rest of the house is quite light and bright. Quite boring. All right, 445. Oh, 300. But do we have a swatch that will match? Do you know what? We've got a big yellow moment in here. I think that we could make this work. No, it does not go. Okay. Would that be better? Or is that just the exact same thing? I think my issue is that this door is in the wrong place. That door really should be there because then that can go there. That can go there. And then we can easily put a dresser in this area. Put a table lamp on each side and then a flower in the middle, like next to here, maybe. All right, for the kids' bedroom, I actually like that bed. I'm going to see if we can have a different swatch of this one. There we go. It's not quite, it's not 100%, but I'm going to take what I fucking get, guys. I've just looked over and I'm like, we've still got four grand left. And then I was also like, oh, yeah, but that four grand also has to cover the back garden. Do you know what? I'm going to do a popular thing. I'm going to keep the dollhouse the same size. So it looks like the room is being taken up by things. <laughs> How can the ridiculous size of the dollhouse in The Sims 4 work for me, babe? How can it work for me? I don't know if this is silly of me, but I do actually feel like we're getting somewhere a little bit. I also need to change those railings because they absolutely do not match. That matches more. It's kind of given prison. I don't really like the railings, if I'm going to be 100% honest. Oh, you know what? F for 30 quid, I'm just going to give myself railings I like. Right? There we go. I feel much better now. Thank you. I don't think we can afford a PC, which this place was going to be like the PC place. So I don't necessarily think we can afford that. This can just be the home office. The curtains are just going to go in the desk and that's that. The way that I'm feeling in my heart, if I'm 100% honest and truthful with this right now, I feel like this is the 10 minute speed build challenge because I can feel that I'm like getting stressed, but really... Oh, babe, what have I got to be stressed for? Nothing. Like, literally, there is no repercussions if I do not... I mean, there's no repercussions anyway. But if I don't get this challenge right, who gives a fuck? Right, now I'm going to put in the little things like a toilet roll. Sims do deserve to wipe their own ass, and I really do believe that. I haven't always said it, but I've always believed it. And I haven't even always believed it either. I think I might save the last of the money for the back garden and see what we can do out here. I think maybe just like table and chairs, maybe. It might save me money to get a bench, potentially. 285. This one is... 300. I think that's the choice. Hopscotch is a tenner. Get it in. And then maybe some planting pots. And we can even afford a grill. Nice. Now I'm going to do a little bit of landscaping. Just a little bit. Because trees are actually really cheap in this game. Oh my god, the hedges are expensive though. And I also don't want to use like debug or anything like that. I want this to be actual. Because with debug you can get things for free. And usually I would utilize debug. But for this one, I just want to see what the difference is. Okay, that's quite cute. I also like to outline things like a hopscotch. Something that might be used or this table and even walkways so it looks like your sims walked there but that's just me i have not put a bin in the kitchen i need to go put a bin in the kitchen so sorry everybody please forgive me i also have not put seats there oh well, oh, actually, I feel like we could do more in here. I feel like I'm going to need to put a picture or something. I'll put that one in. I'm pretty sure I'll put that in, in the bedroom upstairs, but where's me salt and pepper? And also potentially a rug under the dining room table. I do feel like we could do that. I was wondering why it looks so fucking bare. That's just slightly too big, isn't it? I don't think I like those chairs. Sorry. Oh my God, we've got nothing left. Right, okay, I'm going to have to get a cheaper chair. No, no, no. Huh? Huh? Maybe. All right, okay, I think I prefer that. And also, I think I'm going to get rid of that light. I think it needs like a wider light. This is dark right now. Maybe if I put that. Yeah. Okay, I think I prefer that. We have 67 smallings left. I can't really think of anything else that I could do. Put it... Uh, uh, we could put a chair. We could, yeah. Oh, we also do need an outdoor bin. Oh, oh, but that's fucking pedantic, isn't it? Like, do we actually need an outdoor bin? No, people just think that you need an outdoor bin. I would uh, just like everybody know that is misinformation I'm spreading. If you're playing The Sims 4, you yeah, absolutely do need an outdoor bin. <laughs> But we also don't have any landscaping on the front. Right. Okay, so maybe we do need to get rid of something. Maybe that chair. Maybe we could just do with the one chair. Those curtains as well. Because those curtains are 40 quid. Mm. And I might just put yellow on. And then it kind of brings the house in. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now we have nearly a grand left. Those curtains were, were really nice, but pretty expensive. Now we have some landscaping out the front and back. Woo! Loves it, loves it, loves it. That was actually a really cute house. Like, it came together nice. I really like it. I liked how it turned out. I just think it's really cute. The next one that we've got, this time with a budget of 50,000, makes me feel a lot more comfortable because I feel like we can just get in straight away and do the windows and make it look all pretty. I feel like I would even be brave enough to do different variations of windows. Maybe we do a dark house. That could be 
fun. Those wind tools are very long. Uh, I might be pushing. I'm pushing. No, I'm pushing the boat out too far. Maybe on the back, like here, we can do a nice fun window like that. That looks really nice and cool. I love it. That's not going to work. I also, I don't think that those doors are going to work. That could work. It is a different blue though. Or maybe this blue could work. Does it even have to be blue? All right, I'm doing that thing where I get freaked out again. What if I did just search black? I feel like it's freaking me out, right? Because we've got the black in the middle bit and then we've got the white on top there. You can't really see the white on the bottom bit. Hmm. I'm going to go black and white. I'm just going to be a basic bitch, all right? Oh, actually, what about... Does that go better? Fuck it. Yeah, why not? Why not? I do kind of feel like I'm doing two of... Well, so far, two of the most basic houses I could possibly do. But I'm having fun. And at the end of the day, babe, it's not that serious. That's what I've been telling myself lately. Right, I need the brick to be darker on the bottom. It's not giving what I want to give. Maybe that works more. Oh, I don't know whether to do these bits black. Because we do have black in some places. Or if I should just keep them white. Or maybe... Uh, I think it's going to be white. Okay, well, honestly, that makes my job easier. I just fucking love putting pillars on the corner of houses like it just it just absolutely transforms the house i'm not going to lie i've used half walls for some fucking reason um i don't know why because i don't tend to use half walls but because i have the columns are kind of peeking through so i might do more posh columns like this on the front they are not white there we go just so it kind of differentiates a bit delete because the trim on the roofing is white i'm gonna put black roof tiles on i don't know if i should do them as black as next door no actually i think i think i like that one of it and white stairs as well am i just spending money for the sake of spending money like what really is the difference between that and that nothing i actually think do we have the money for pool you know what if we don't i can just get rid of it and that's fine i thought i would like that but i think that's a bit much i might even be able to get a swing set out here i'm doing this completely the opposite way because in the first one i didn't dare touch out the Back until the rest of the house was done and then on this one i'm like yeah fuck it based on size i don't actually think we can afford a swing set so maybe just that ah uh, do you know what we do have the space for a cooker and shit like that i also need to turn that around that is facing the wrong way but we can just have it here we have enough money for this i can soon delete it if not but we can have that there i might do the edging in this but it is 135 simoleons a pop so it is going to be taking up a big chunk of our money oh my god this is literally 45 simoleons you know what instead of using plants because i'm trying to f use plants and none of them feel like they're working i might use actual plant pots instead oh, 750 simoleons i don't have the facilities for that big man yeah, and they've got a bin as well outside maybe even some lights actually maybe i could put some lights down beautiful and a little chair rocking ch well it's not rocking oh we could put a rocking chair literally what is stopping me nothing beautiful we don't have the space for like a full size table although maybe if i move that there yeah i actually think that's a better idea i know that's a folding dining table but that'll do although i could just put that there and then have five seats yep perfect it's a bit cramped i mean they don't have the budget of a hundred thousand simoleons so that's the outside done oh wait that is every, every single one of those plants is sneaking out now for the inside we still have 37 simoleons which honestly is quite a lot and i am quite thankful for that the outside is darker than the last one that we've done so i think i'm going to do the same type of thing i might even just stick to the same floor plan oh, i don't like that actually <laughs> oh my god that is a lovely sink did i pick the jungle adventure ones that don't have a top cabinet i did didn't i uh... some of these bitches need the matching cabinets i don't know what her problem was that she wanted to come at me like that she probably needed the, the matching cabinet sometimes you can't do right for doing wrong right well what about this one or maybe this one she's very dark and for the toilet i think i'm gonna do this like it's quite a dark and moody house need some ssris you know what i mean so i'm gonna copy the the same type of dark theme maybe fuck it I'm trying to find a swatch that matches i cannot so i'm just gonna do that okay get rid of the sink there we go that will do. We're going to have lots of mismatched wood in this one. And I can only apologize, guys. I still want some of that matches with the kitchen as well. But because I've I've got so many different wood types, maybe beating a dead horse. I'll just do that. And I might even get rid of the two chairs on the side because we have more money. I can actually spend some money and put a fireplace in, maybe. Now that does feel quite tight, I still might get rid of those chairs and put that there potentially. And then we can put a big picture behind it. Even like put two end tables together or whatever they're called. That. Uh... <sighs> Ugh. I didn't even want to put that plant, but we'll go with that plant because I'm not, I've refused to move them again. And then a nice little chair in the corner. Fuck. Well, do you know what? 
This dining room is a fucking slay so far. If I do say so myself. Right, I need something with a bit more of a blue. I have an issue with whatever the latest pack is out. That is the only rug I can remember. I'm like, yeah, the, the rug from For Rent is the only one that can cure exactly what I'm looking for right now. I don't want to just do it boring and basic with that blue one. What about that? What the fucking swatch of this did I have before? And then a standing flower here. Nice. Port rack. I do love the ability to put a little bit of clutter. It just warms me. Warms my cold dead heart right through. It really does, Your Honor. And I'm going to do the tiling of the kitchen first because i always freak myself out oh, maybe something like that would be better i think i like it i do i think i do i think i do i'm just gonna you know what give myself a break if i don't like it i can go back and change it but as of right now pull yourself together <laughs> you know what that might actually work and then it's not just proper gray and i do think i will utilize the fireplace on this side am i gonna run out of money maybe I potentially could do, yeah. I actually think this house would benefit from that wall being up. So I'm going to put that wall back up. Oh my God, I love that settee. That is so cute. And then we can have a picture that is framing just above the settee. I'm doing the same thing with pictures as I'm doing with rugs. I'm only gravitating towards one picture. Now I've lost my train of thought. I have spent a lot, if not the majority of my money though. It's nearly all gone, yeah. Like I've spent enough of it to kind of, I'm a little bit worried for the bedrooms, yeah. If I'm going to be 100% honest, you're on again. Yeah. <laughs> Fell in love with an emo girl. Okay, kids bedroom. Done. We've still got 10 grand left. Guys, this is honestly, is it? I mean, to be fair, it's not a challenge. I'm treating it like it's a challenge, but it's not a challenge. It's very fucking easy for me to spend this much money. It is making me realize how expensive things are generally in The Sims. Decorations, especially. I feel like when I put the main things in, like a kitchen and stuff like that, that's expensive, but I'm kind of like expecting how expensive it is. But then you start trying to put in things like a bush and suddenly pff, your house has been, there's that thing again. I need to stop doing that. Your house has been repossessed. It's a bit redonkulous actually we've still got eight grand left i actually think i'm gonna be able to afford a computer this time i'll make a kid themed because it is for the kid oh and we could even have a reading area because the bedrooms are quite small yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna give them a little reading area and we can have a little bootcase. This book nook thing is actually the perfect height for it. We've still got six fucking grand. Dishwasher, the schmattle, the grill zone. I can see them having a TV in the room. And then now it is just the, again, once again, I'm leaving my Sims right to wipe their own ass last. But there we go. Oh, and curtains. I always forget the bathroom curtains. I did not have enough money for the second <laughs> curtains. Right, so that is the second house done with a budget of 50,000. I do, do prefer this one to the first house. I also need to switch that out quickly excuse me thank you the first house isn't looking too bad considering right the last house we have 86 simoleons left from the previous house but for the last one we have oh sorry i need to just copy that roof over i thought that was already on there we have 100,000, which honestly i'm quite excited about because i'm excited to just not worry about things we're gonna get the schmapple everything babe the schmapple everything i don't quite know what to do for the outside like i don't know if it should be ultra modern but i was also thinking like do we do tory because then i was thinking that might make sense sense for the law i mean there is no law because i'm literally making it up i mean i don't know what neighborhood this is really <laughs> But it's fine. Okay, I don't mind that actually. I think the back of the house looks better than the front, but fuck it. Or maybe even on these bits we could do this wood type. We can do that for the roof tiles and then maybe... Oh my God, we can even do the new ones. Okay, I'm fucking with this now. And then for windows, we could do some fun. We could have like these circle ones up at the top. I don't think they've really got any colors. Oh, but I like them. Oh, I love it. I, re I really want to find a place to make that window work, but I don't think it's going to work. I think that looks better. It looks less redonkulous. Is it really bothering? bothering me that this house is so different than the rest yes but i'm just trying to pretend that it's not bothering me at all i'm trying to pretend that i actually find comfort in it and i'm trying to pretend that it's completely okay but it just know deep inside that it is really 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 bothering me and i wish it wasn't but it is i also think because we literally we have so much money i think i'm going to try and go all out all out in landscaping which i'm not very good at so we'll see how it goes it's a bit much so far we've spent seven grand on the outside which i just honestly mounted up very fast i think for the previous house we spent three thousand on the outside this one we've kind of we've already we're already well away on this one i'm going to utilize things like the flower pots and everything because i haven't used those yet on the outside of the house so i think that will be fun to utilize and maybe as well some vines it's a bit much actually i kind of like those draped over but maybe i think i like the look of these okay that looks cute actually i really like that it looks so pretty. I mean, it looks like they need a fucking gardener, to be fair. Okay, that is a fucking schlay so far. We've spent 11, 11 thousand simoleons that is a lot of money but it's fucking worth it. And we haven't even done the back garden. My plan for the back garden is this. 
wrong. Our plan for the back garden is this. And you might be thinking, what the f is that an avocado thing? I didn't want to do a pool because this house does not look like it would, like it, this looks like it was built pre running water. Do you know what I mean? So I don't think that this house would have a pool. So instead I'm just going to create a landscaped back garden that's going to go with the general vibe of it. Kind of overgrown, but also it has a gardener that, and that's the vibes. Yeah, I'll even give him a llama, a leaf's casserole. Seems a downright shame. Bring it down right waist. <laughs> if you don't get what I'm referencing, good. Oh, what type of bench would these people have? Oh, they would definitely have something like this. I'm going to get rid of some of this over here because I think they would have a little dining thing over here. Once again, I... Uh, no, yeah. Once again, I think I'm just going to use a bench. All right, there we go. That is there. And then now we can have an outside cooking area. We can even have a bin. Oh, and little plant pots just going around the corners. Oh my God, they would have chickens. Does that mean I'm going to have to get rid of another corner? No, I can just hide that in there. Okay, we've spent 20,000. I do feel like I may need to rein it in now let me just give him a rocking chair or two. Oh, and a table and a lamp i also need to do outside lighting beautifuls definitely doing realm of magic for the kitchen i actually thought on this one i may change things around a little bit and i may put the kitchen here is there any real point in me doing that all things to consider okay well you know what i could do it like that so the realm of magic not come with fucking i'm gonna scream but how could they do this to me question mark okay well the kitchen's done i actually really love the vampires pack so i'm not 100 percent sad i do really 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 want to make room for a fireplace i don't know if we can make room for a fireplace because i wouldn't have a fireplace underneath the window that would just lose heat that would be silly honestly the sims 4 base game has a lot of just really rich stuff and they all match it's very odd <laughs> there's just so much posh stuff like i'm having absolutely no trouble finding photos and like everything to go up we've got to do marble oh my god it just looks so dark and miserable but also my 100 percent aesthetic at the same time my aesthetic for my house at the minute is haunted. If it is haunted, I want it. For example, my picture frames that I hung up. Yes, there is witch fan fiction on there. And yes, I've only got two baubles on my tree. Maybe this entire bit should be marble. Maybe I should also block that off, including the entryway. I think it should all be marble. All right, as for the bathroom, Tory toilet. I feel like using the swan throne would just be silly because it's not the most expensive house. It's just a house with a budget of this amount of money. That doesn't really go because that's more gold than yellow. That kind of goes, but I kind of want a blue and yellow tile to match that, but I don't think we're gonna find it i actually don't hate that i don't love it either don't get me wrong but i don't hate it either that kind of looks similar to the yellow and, and the gray on there even though it's not but it kind of looks like it yeah fuck it that'll do feel like we need a stall a stall statue a tall statue here or something but not a gargoyle we've actually spent a lot of money so far a lot more than i was originally intending to spend i thought we'd have money left over and i thought it would be a struggle to spend money the sims 4 is more expensive than i anticipated and that stands for the actual game as well <laughs> not just what you can buy in the game but what you can buy of the game very dark in here quite kitsch kitsch i don't know which way you pronounce it these lamps i mean i actually might get rid of those lamps okay they're there and then we'll put a plant on either side that's a big plant we'll have a bootcase on the side here maybe there we'll have that we'll have a plant on this side as well no we will have them ones tools of fire oh but we're also saving money because we don't have a tv i don't want to save money there we go a tip and trick for these fireplaces is just use a tv that you'd use on a stand and put them up there and then there you go you got a tv oh i also need to give them permission to wipe their own ass there we go i'll wipe my own ass i wish that you could select on a stair rail and click the matching fence into it it bothers me that you cannot do that bedroom one bedroom two you also need a light down here because it is very dark my lights take there we go they always take a couple of seconds to catch up so i always find myself over placing lights it just it boggles my mind okay kids bedroom i want the thousand pound bed there we go drip in palace single doesn't really fit my color theme that one we can do that one what's the most expensive kids toy the victorian dollhouse i love it we've still got twenty one thousand small units to go but that's a lot of money we could have a telly oh we we could even have the frame telly. Beautiful. And the same for here. Oh, me glute schnar. Now we've only got 10 grand. I feel fucking poor. I'm actually <laughs> quickly running out of money. Okay, I think we're done. We have 1,000 small lanes left. I think I'm just going to do the same as the house before and get a... Uh... I forgot about the curtains on this floor. Slay. We have nine small lanes. That'll do. We've built a house with a 20,000 small lane budget, which is this one. A 50,000 small lane budget, which is this one. And a 100,000 small lane budget, which is this one. I'm not going to lie. I found this one the most challenging. I think it was just like the prepping and the, the thingy of like making sure that you didn't go over budget. But I mean, the 50 grand one's got a pool. I didn't, I struggled.
struggled in this one about as much as I struggled in this one. I think the only difference is really like, I wouldn't even say that this one is more decorated. I would just say that there's more, like the stuff in it is more expensive. But well, and the landscaping, obviously. Fucking landscaping and decorative things are expensive in this game. I need to stop playing with cheats. I need to get a grip of the real world. <laughs> but yeah, this is the downstairs of the first house. The budget was 20,000 smolians, but it's got everything that you need. It's even got a telly. This is the downstairs of the 50,000 smolian house. Again, it's got everything you need. It even got a telly. And then this is the 100,000 smolian house. This one does have a big fireplace and a telly, but it's got the same as the others pretty much. They've all got the same amount of chairs. Apart from this one, this one's got more chairs. And then upstairs, this one does have a TV in every bedroom and a computer. I will give them that i will but this one's also got a tv in all of the rooms and a computer actually the quality is of the other one is just higher and then this one just has a bedroom which honestly we could have done with the with the pc in this one but apart from that i really enjoyed this video that is everything that I have for you today. Thank you all so so much for watching i really enjoyed this so if you have any other video ideas like this that you want to see me do then let me know but I love you all. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye, bitch.